everybody and welcome back to Axion Token Channel, your host Superman. We're going to look at this Axion update with the AMA strategy session. Uh, so we're going to do this update for you. It's the latest and greatest on Axion strategy. Now, Axion AMA was held on 22nd of April 2022 and uh, this was held on the Axion Discord. So this is really an update for those that missed the AMA on Discord. Uh, so let's get into the summary. So a new core team structure made up of core team members uh, and of course advisors and the AAC council. Uh, was announced so the new teams will be taking care of various departments and resourcing as necessary so a really nice organizational uh, uh, structure change and a real beefing up of some of uh, uh, parts of it as well so cool the team was announced along with several important advisors providing support and import so just asking just moving from strength to strength now we can see here we've got james as the aac lead here we've got uh, delhi the uh, one of the head devs there as the blockchain advisor We've got the Destroyer there as Business and Legal. We've got McMarty as the Communities and HR. We've got Andy as Marketing and Outreach, which is great to see. We've got Jubin there as, uh, Jubin there as the Business Advisor. PC as an Algorithm Advisor. Uh, so great to see the mathematicians. And of course, we've got Pullen uh, there as Operations and a dead poet who does awesome stuff too. Uh, strategic Planning there. So that is the Axiom Core team. So nice to see that. Obviously, we've got James Metal was announced as the AAC lead having oversight of the council and input as an advisor into the core team. So great to see that. James mentioned that the AC would be looking to expand by further, uh, adding a further two council members when practical. So that's great to see. Here's the Axiom Advisory Council. So this is the second uh, part of the support team. And of course, you've got James Middle, Axiom Advisory Lead, uh, as we see is uh, linked into, uh, the, um, into the core team there. And of course, uh, underneath uh, Axion Advisory Council, ACC is part of Axion's community outreach program to empower selected community members to play active roles in driving the external growth of Axion. Members of ACC will be part of discussions and get to work in implementing and materializing those ideas. So uh, very awesome to see that. So we've got Pierre there, Nia to 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 Tolliver there, Axion Advisor, Brand Ambassador, who is also uh, was an Olympian uh, rugby player. And we've got uh, Dennis there, Mr. B, Axion Advisor Creative, and then VJ, Axion Advisor Outreach. So great to see that team there as well. And then, of course, uh, we've got Andy here, what briefly introduced some of the team that will play a role within the newly formed marketing team. Uh, so this is very exciting. A lot of people want to hear about marketing. Uh, stressing out how important the team would be ensuring the plans are delivered. And he also mentioned he would encourage those within the community uh, to also come forward and contribute. He said he was keen for others to be empowered to take on roles of the full task and invite those not currently part of the marketing team to come forward and introduce themselves. It was great. The full team contribution uh, contributing towards marketing uh, would be Actified, Adorna, Crypto Casino, uh, who's a content creator, and a dead poet, uh, Destroyer, Metal, Mr. B, Fixation, who's also uh, in the uh, Axiom Discord, uh, Pullen, and Shimmer. So great to see that. Later in the presentation, Andy outlined, se outlined several key areas the team will be addressing and briefly spoke on each part. Uh, the website met metrics, uh, program of uh, ad campaigns, editorial content, social media campaigns, launchpad, partnerships, influences, sponsorships, offline off, uh, advertising, and finally community metrics there. So you can see to see fixation in the outreach there and a shimmer field there as well as an outreach. And of course, we've got the social gorillas and they do an amazing, amazing job uh, promoting Axiom. So social gorillas is part of the Axiom's community outreach program to empower selected community members to play active roles in developing guerrilla marketing on social media and they're amazing they get axiom ranked up huge on uh, twitter and polygon uh, social so uh, awesome stuff there anything axiom content creators of course yours truly soup man uh, from new zealand content creator contributing a cover axiom and various axiom launch partners videos a youtube legend and of course crypto casino out there doing an amazing job for the uk a content creator contributing a covering axiom and various axiom launch partner videos YouTube legend. So there's two of us doing focusing on YouTube there. Uh, we've also got Shane Fixation there from the United States, uh, content creator contributing, covering weekly Axiom Hangouts on Discord, and of course, social media guru. And finally, VJ there, who's also in the ACC there uh, from uh, from India, and a content creator contributor covering Axiom on various social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter legend there. So uh, across different medium forms, very, very cool. Uh, McMurdy announced a vote that was planned for next week to facilitate changes with accelerator ratios. Uh, so this is really cool to help fund the OTC pool. So really starting to move towards that DeFi 3.0 uh, that was already on the strategy map there. Deb Poet commented later in the community question time that this could be either for a limited time or until a target amount was raised for the OTC that's over the counter desktop there. 
uh, of course, it's for big uh, big people to buy and sell uh, into Axiom without moving the market price too much. Uh, the introduction of buy taxes was also announced to introduce further sustainability and resourcing of the ecosystem to allow the project to move forward, delivering our ambitious goals. So obviously, uh, we've already implemented a 10% sell tax, 5% goes to stakers, 5% goes to a buy and burn of Axiom. Uh, so now we're looking also at the uh, buyer's tax there. The community vote will be a choice between either a 7% or a 10% tax which will go to OTC building in the immediate uh, future. So uh, really from the accelerator and from uh, the buy tax, they're starting to improve uh, the OTC uh, funds there as well. Uh, in the future, this tax will fund the treasury, BTC divs and other components. So exciting. Um, how, how are we going to fund the OTC pool with the accelerator? As so accelerated buyback ratios, uh, adjustments to kickstart the OTC pool. Uh, so the ratios there, option A, uh, buyback 65%, OTC 20%, Foundation 15% and Ripple Coin does 0%. Option B will be 65% for the buybacks. That's buying Axiom on the market and burning it. OTC 10%, putting 10% of the funds into the over, over the counter uh, pool. And of course, that's for large whales to buy and sell and not move the price around too much. And Foundation 15%. And then finally, Ripple Coin dividends 10%. So those are the two options that are going to be up for grabs. Uh, this support one here will build up the OTC pool. And that's a redistribution of the Axiom sold, burned, and staked. And finally, this side here. Uh, would build up the OTC pool here as well on the 10% and 20% respectively. An example of $1,500 buy an accelerator, OTC pool would, uh, with a $1,500 buy an accelerator current price, uh, you'd see 20% OTC pool ratio or 10% pool ratio and a 10% rep coin dividends ratio. Uh, so OTC pool would be $300. And of course, on $1,500, that would be $300 at 20%. Uh, 75% would be burned, so that's $225 or 7.5 million Axiom. 25% would go to stakers, that's $75, 2.5 million Axiom. And 0% wrap Bitcoin dividends, so 0% there. Uh, we buy, we burn more, 7.5 million versus 4.25 million, but give less than liquid dividends, so that's the trade off there. On the other side, of course, 10% pulled uh, OTC pool and 10% wrap Bitcoin dividends. $150 would go to the OTC pool instead of $300. Uh, $227. Or 4.2 million Axiom would be burned, so it's 85%, so a bigger burn factor compared to 75%. Uh, 20, uh, the, the 15 percent to stakers, that would be $22.50 rather, and it would be 750,000 Axiom compared to uh, $75. And of course, uh, finally, 10% wrap because the stakers $150 with the BBC. Uh, we give more divs uh, versus $172 versus $75, uh, but burn less, okay? So that's the two options that people will be able to vote on. Right, what other revenue streams will we fund the OTC pool? Top of the accelerator, we'll have 10% buy tax. Uh, that could be 7%, of course, depending on which gets voted. to incentivize people to buy through the accelerator, no tax. So obviously, if you go through the accelerator, you won't have to pay the buy tax. Revenues from Axiom Studios, Immortal Empires, which is coming up, uh, obviously being worked on at the moment. And of course, Future Treasury, DeFi 3 per no. uh, Vision, of course, that's going to be refined and updated later in Q3. Uh, following the presentation, open question time is conducted but with some excellent community questions. Uh, Big Bear Crypto then spoke about his re-engagement with Axiom and his enthusiasm in, in the direction of the project. So great to see Big Bear uh, back re-engaged there. So nice one of the whales. Very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Feel free to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell, and I'll keep you tuned to new strategy and operational updates as they come in. Uh, bye for now. Take care. See ya.